The fans are already making their way down to FedEx Field, cornhole and all. And tonight, all eyes will be on Washington's newly named quarterback, Sam Howell. Our Adam Longo is anchoring our commander's coverage live from FedEx Field. And Adam, this is a big, hot night. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, Les. So it might be hot and humid out here, but definitely the storm clouds of controversy have lifted over this team. Fans extremely energetic about this new ownership group and having this team seeing what they can perform on the field this season. Let's bring in local sports commentator Chick Hernandez, local sports icon. I can't say <laughs> everyone's been rolling up on this guy. Where's the money? Let me, give it, let me give her the money. Yeah, we'll do that after okay. the show. Okay, good. Let's, let's just talk about the energy that people are feeling yeah. with this new ownership team. Does that translate into what's happening on the field? Just talk to me about the energy that you're feeling. Well, it doesn't translate into wins, per se, but it certainly has changed the culture and the vibe. Out at Ashburn, where the camp is, there stands up there. You had fans, 10,000 fans come a uh, couple of days. It's, it's a different vibe completely because they don't feel like the previous ownership is sticking his hand in your pocket and taking money. This is a whole different ball game with Josh Harris and an ownership group, including a guy named Magic Johnson. So the vibe is clearly different than the last 24 years. You know, for the casual fan, the focus has really been right there on the change in ownership. Mm -hmm. but what do we know about this team's on-field product that we've seen through training camp and through the first preseason game? What can we expect tonight? What, to, what to look out for? That's the great question, Adam, as we don't know. Uh, what we know is that they have worked all offseason, the OTAs and training camp, a brand new offensive coordinator in Eric Bieniemy, who's installed a brand new offense for Sam Howell, the starting quarterback. Uh, when I talked to some of the guys on that squad, when they first saw that playbook, I mean, there were some foul words, but in a good way, like, holy moly, we can do a lot. So offensively, I think it'll be a better offense if you keep Sam Howell off his back. Defense has been top three two of the last three years. They're fine. And what do we make of this rivalry between these two teams that don't <laughs> normally see each other right? on the field? What do we make of that and the fact that the Ravens have got this pretty impressive preseason winning streak? Well, first off, they had joint practice this week where there were a couple of, couple of fights, uh, including one guy who got a injured rotator cuff and Danny Johnson because he got slammed to the ground by a Raven. So there's a little bit of bad blood there. Mm. As far as the winning streak goes, we can talk about it. But let us hear from Sam Cosby, the right guard, who I don't think is much of a fan of this whole streak. I think it's a stupid record. I mean, who gives a about <laughs> preseason games? All right, so uh, he just laid it out there pretty he bluntly. Did. He did. Yeah, yeah. All right, so for the rest of this evening, what do we expect? About a two-and-a-half, three-hour long game. What yep. are you going to be looking out for? Well, here's the deal. Uh, John Harbaugh, head coach of the Ravens, has already said, uh, I'm not playing my starters mm. for the most part. Uh, they're going to look at a bunch of the guys who are trying to – because on this depth chart, the guys who are second and third and fourth team, they're trying to make a squad. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to get a lot of action, including on the other side for the Washington Commanders. I think we'll see Sam Howell out of the gate, but not very long. I uh, think Eric Benjamin wants to get him – consistent and then get him out and we'll see Jacoby Brissett and Jake Fromm at quarterback. Um, what you'll see is a bunch of young guys trying to make a roster so you'll see some spirit at play. Right, so what we're going to see tonight is not going to be indicative of what we see no. on, on day one. No, no, and by the way, where was the, I was promised some food. Yeah, that's, that's, that's back there. The guys are cooking it up right now. We'll, we'll, we'll get back oh, to I'm that. not quite believing you, Adam. A little bit later. No. A little bit hot out here, and not just because of the sun. Les, we'll uh, bring it back to you in the studio. You know what? I may have to call up some friends to bring you all some snacks or something. Maybe that'll make you feel better, Chick. We want you I mean, to feel good. That's a... <laughs> That's a W from L. That's I, a lovely. I, I am told that the offerings inside of the stadium are different now under the new ownership. Is that right? We have oh. that. Level. I've been inside. I did see some good food. It used to be Death Dogs back in the day, which you know lasted with you for like three, four days. Yeah. Not a good scene. Yeah, rich symbolism there. With the side <laughs> of the All right, Les. Stay with you. All right, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. We're going to bring you highlights, of course, and any updates after tonight's game and on the news at 11, plus on our website, WUSA9.com.